Hello and welcome back to Cray Outdoors. This is going to be another update video. I realize that I owe all of you a bit of an explanation as to where I've been and where I am now. It is true that I left Western New York once again. Most of you know from my last update live stream, I had a, uh, a job this summer out in Glacier National Park. Uh, I led a high school trail crew out there in the backcountry. We lived in the wilderness for uh, uh, about a month and um, and just lived out of a, a cabin five miles in the backcountry, in the wilderness, did trail work every day. It was all around just an absolutely awesome experience. That video is coming. Um, I unfortunately didn't get to do much fishing out there, but I did make just a general Glacier National Park video of uh, some of the cool sites and places that uh, I saw while I was out there. So you can be on the lookout for that video. But uh, basically, once that job ended, um, I had two options. I could go back to Western New York, back to Olean, back to my parents' house um, where I have been staying, and uh, go back to the job that I had uh, at the lumber yard, which, you know, it, it was a job. Um, or I could make the jump and uh, move to Mobile, Alabama, and, uh, and do something different. Um, and, and for those of you that don't know, I turned uh, 26 while I was in Glacier. Um, and I'm just at the point in my life where I don't want to live at home with mom and dad anymore, basically. Well, that and, uh, and the job down here is a, is, a, is a really cool program. It's part of uh, Golf Corps, for those of you that are interested. I'll put a uh, link in the description to um, exactly what I'm doing down here. I'm, I'm one of the project leaders. So the program's sort of for locals to, um, to, to do conservation work. But they brought me in um, as a project leader since I have a lot of outdoor work experience uh, as well as some coastal restoration experience in Florida. Um, those of you know I had an internship out there a couple years ago. So yeah, they brought me in to, uh, to help lead these projects. And um, it's a really cool opportunity. It's really impactful work. It's paid for by the BP oil spill, so it's fines levied against BP that are, are funding this program. So it's helping, uh, it's helping you know, young people have job opportunities um, because a lot of jobs were displaced by the, by the oil spill and it's doing conservation work at the same time. So it's a cool program, something that I'm definitely all about and, uh, and it's experience that's, that's awesome too for me. This job is gonna help me get my red card um, as well as my federal chainsaw certification. I have chainsaw certification for New York, but that doesn't translate to the federal government. So um, but I'm finally getting my federal chainsaw certification, which is something I wasn't able to get in Florida. And I've been trying to get my red card for a really long time too, just so uh, I have something to fall back on. You know, the people that fight wildfires out west make a lot of money. And, um, well, I'd like to make a lot of money. <laughs> uh, those of you know that uh, I, I like to spend uh, a lot on fishing gear. So, yeah, I'm in Mobile, Alabama now. I said that I was never going to live in a city. I did make two exceptions to that. I said I'd, I'd only live in a city if it was Buffalo or Erie just because I, I obviously love the city of Buffalo. It's where I was born. It's where most of my family's from. And, you know, I'm just all about the culture and the fishing, especially, you know, excellent fishing in Erie, PA, excellent fishing in Buffalo, New York. But I found that uh, Mobile, Alabama is actually very, very similar to, believe it or not, Erie, Pennsylvania, especially. It's, it's about the exact same size as Erie, PA. Uh, the way the city's laid out is very similar. The, the streets are all lined with trees. I'll show you a house tour, but, you know, in the neighborhoods, the houses are pretty far apart. Uh, I have a big backyard and there's excellent fishing opportunities. It's right on Mobile Bay, which is just an, a phenomenal fishery. And kind of like Erie and Buffalo, it's kind of on the down low, you know? It's not, it's not a city that's like advertised as a place that's like excellent fishing. Like South Florida, you know, there's so much fishing pressure down there nowadays, especially Lake Okeechobee, my gosh. I mean, the, the lake's dying, and, um, and it just has an unbelievable amount of fishing pressure. Um, but here in Mobile, Alabama, you know, there's, there's huge largemouth down here too. Uh, there's excellent inshore fishing opportunities. There's this epic redfish run that apparently happens during the fall, and uh, and it's not really on people's radar. So um, it's pretty much just the locals that fish here. So I'm excited to become a local and figure out the fishery down here. It's going to be cool. It's going to be exciting. This job is only 12 months. Uh, well, it's actually eight months. It could be possibly extended to 12 months. I signed a 12 month lease at this house, so um, so I'm probably going to be down here for 12 months, but. Before you all abandon me, my Western New York slash PA subscribers, you know, home is where the heart is. My ultimate goal is to eventually one day get back to Western New York or Western Pennsylvania. 
and hopefully the experience that I'm getting down here finally, you know, being a, a supervisor of adults, uh, hopefully I'll be able to find a job, you know, up there eventually and, and, and settle in Western New York slash PA permanently is my ultimate goal. In the meantime, though, honestly, I am enjoying traveling around the country. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try and, and keep up with some Western New York content, even though uh, I'm now down here in Mobile, Alabama. I have some ideas to do some how-to videos to help you guys catch walleye and steelhead and things like that. It'd also be cool to start, like, a, a fishing podcast is something that I'm considering. Where my office is located, there's actually a podcast studio in there, and believe it or not, there's fishing podcasts. The, uh, the South Alabama Saltwater Fishing Podcast, something like that, is recorded right in the same office building that I work in. So that's cool. There's actually some really good networking opportunities and, and good opportunities for me as a YouTuber down here too. Uh, unlike South Florida where like everybody's a YouTuber, um, down here in Mobile, Alabama, it's, it's kind of like, you know, Buffalo and Erie. There's not a lot of other YouTubers. There's really only one other channel that consistently posts YouTube videos, and um, I'm forgetting their name. I'd give them a shout out. They mainly do kayak fishing videos, and that's the other cool thing, man. This area, it's excellent for kayak fishing in particular. There's multiple kayak launches within a 10 minute radius of my house, and, and, and just excellent kayak fishing opportunities. So I lucked out, man. You know, I always get lucky and end up in these places that are excellent fishing. Granted, I don't know if I'd have taken the job down here if it wasn't excellent fishing, but that's the big update. I'm in Mobile, Alabama for 12 months. No longer living at home in Olean. I'm trying to make it on my own finally. This is my first time renting my own pit place and, and paying my own utilities. I also recently bought a new vehicle, so it's my first time owning my own vehicle. Uh, I, I paid for my last couple vehicles, but they, they were still in my mom's name just because uh, insurance was cheaper that way. But everything is in my name for the first time in my life. So it um, took me 26 years to get there, but um, I'm happy for that. Between that and uh, and the opportunity to, uh, to get experience and, and be a supervisor, and uh, just the fact that this golf core program is a, is a really, really cool, impactful thing, um, those are the reasons that uh, I decided to make the jump and move down here instead of staying in Western New York. So next week, I'm going to be back in Western New York. I'm flying back for a, a civil service test. Some of you might be actually taking it. It's the conservation officer forest ranger test. I'm not going to miss the opportunity to take that because, again, those are, those are really awesome permanent jobs that I'd love to do. So I'm taking that civil service test next week, but the salmon run is also should be about at its peak. The brown trout and steelhead are just starting to run, and uh, and the leaves should be at peak fall foliage. So uh, while I'm down there, I'm of course going to do some salmon, steelhead, and brown trout fishing. So you can be looking forward to that. I don't know when this video is going to go up, but I'll be around the Elk Orchard Creek area um, next weekend. Weekend of the, the the civil service test is the 19th, so I'll probably be fishing after the civil service test on the 19th, uh, all day on the 20th. And, uh, and in the morning, um, Monday the 21st. So, so uh, some Western New York content is going to be uh, on its way, even though I'm living in Mobile, Alabama now. Definitely going to be lots of Alabama content in the future. That said, I'm extremely busy. I've got chainsaw certification training this next week. I've been super busy um, with this new house, trying to furnish it, get the utilities set up, and all that fun stuff, yard work. It's tough being an adult, and, uh, and my job's about 50-ish hours a week, too. So it's been extremely busy. I've had a really hard time keeping up with the YouTube stuff, and that's probably honestly going to continue. Um, taking this trip out of town next weekend, right after being out of town this whole week for chainsaw training, um, it's going to be tough. I'm going to be really behind on all my responsibilities, and I'm not going to have a day off till Thanksgiving. So... Honestly, for the next month or so, um, YouTube videos are probably going to be slim to none. But around Thanksgiving, I'm going to try getting caught up on all of all of my YouTube videos, hopefully post the content from next weekend. And then after that, it, it should be smooth sailing once everything's set up and I'm caught up on everything and, and I'm caught up financially. Hopefully, we can, uh, we can start consistently posting videos again. So, um, so just bear with me. Um, thank you, everybody, for sticking with me. Thanks for all the support. Um, you know, moving down here, buying a new vehicle and all that, finances are really, really tight. But YouTube money has actually been up this last month. I think it's because of uh, my salmon fishing videos from last year. Lots of people have been viewing them. Normally, YouTube makes like 20 ish dollars a month, and uh, this month it made like $45, which isn't a lot. 
but every little bit helps when you're in my position. So thank you for all the recent support, even though I haven't been posting videos. And uh, we will be posting videos again. Once again, don't abandon me. I hope to make it back to Western New York someday. And even while I'm down here in Alabama, I'm going to be trying to make some Western New York PA related content for you guys um, to enjoy and to learn. I'll give you a, a tour of my new house. It's nothing special compared to some of the other cool places I lived. I've gotten to live some really cool places. This is nothing special. However, it's my first time once again, um, you know, renting it on my own and, and maintaining everything for myself. So. Um, so it is exciting for me. So um, hope you enjoy the house tour and uh, yeah, thanks for sticking with me. Currently in the most important room of the house, my room. You can see there's my laptop where all the video editing magic takes place. Furnished this house with a bunch of Walmart furniture. Basically furnished it for as cheap as possible. Walmart and thrift stores. So um, there's, there's my $20 Walmart desk, some $30 Walmart um, I guess you could call that a dresser, I don't know, plastic dresser, but it works, it's light, and um, it, it'll be easy to move out of here, so that's that, of course a thrift store office chair, there's my dresser, <laughs> literally my suitcase, that's where I keep all my pants, my air mattress, once again from Walmart, it's my work laptop, and uh, the closet with, I don't know, a bunch of extra boots, and you know, I've got a lot of outdoor gear as you all know. Um, this is, I guess, the guest room. We're kind of using it as storage. Someday we might get a third roommate, but um, right now I just have one roommate, but um, some of his stuff. So I, oh, there's my sleeping bag. Um, you're supposed to hang these things to keep them puffy and only put them in the compression sack um, when you're on the trail. So, yeah, of course the metal detector. The metal detector, I, I need a new one. That one's not really working very well anymore. It's my roommate's room. We won't go in there because it's a mess. <laughs> He's out of town this week. There's our bathroom, pretty standard bathroom. Here's our living room. You can see our lovely living room furniture. Um, that is a chair from my van. I could put the back seat of my van in here too, but it folds under the seats quite nice, and in all honesty, it's more likely I'm gonna have people in my van than I will in the house. You know, I'm just not really a social person like that. There's, of course, our, <laughs> our coffee table. <laughs> and our shoe rack. Uh, my roommate, you know, we, we work the same job, so uh, we're both outdoorsmen and have a ton of shoes because um, that's what you do when you're an outdoorsman. You need one for, for going in the swamp, one for, you know, going on the beach, and you basically just need shoes for every single occasion, as well as running shoes. Right now we're both trying to train for the pack test, so um, yeah. Here's our kitchen, our thrift store refrigerator. Uh, there's a plastic bin with food and stuff in it, coffee maker, crock pot, microwave, all that fun stuff. I don't know, I guess it's your typical kitchen. One thing that's definitely diff different about the south compared to the north is, um, you can see we keep a lot of our food in these plastic bins, especially when you have an old house like this and uh, you're not rich and can afford, you know, an exterminator service to come and spray every month. Pests are a real serious thing in, that, in the south. It's, you know, basically just sort of a guarantee that you know, we're going to have cockroaches and ants and stuff in here. So we keep everything locked away in plastic. Um, you know, any, anything that's in the cabinets is going to be something that ants and cockroaches can't get at. And we, we've seen a few cockroaches in here, but it hasn't been too bad. Um, they haven't gotten into anything. You know, that's the big thing is keep the house clean and, and keep all of your food in, in plastic. So, um, so it's worked out and there's a bunch more food. You can see stuff that, you know, canned stuff and things like that that... Um, cockroaches and ants can't get in, we just kind of keep out and a bunch of random hardware stuff. Show you on to, well, let's show you the front yard first. Let's show you the front yard. So there's my new truck. It's a Ford F-250 Super Duty diesel engine. I'm just joking, that's not actually my truck. I wish. You can see it's got the Enterprise sticker on it. <laughs> These are actually the trucks that we rent for work, so um, that's through the company. But I do get to drive it around town and people think that it's my truck, which is cool. Um, you know, we drive it to work and back every day. My roommate has one too, but he's um, out of town this week with, with his truck and they're off on, uh, on chainsaw training. I've got chainsaw training next week, but this is my new vehicle. I've actually got a minivan. <laughs> you can see it's got plenty of space for all of my fishing junk. I can also sleep in here and, uh, and I had space to move down here. So um, that's why I bought a minivan. You know, I can't afford a truck, but I can't afford... 
a Kia Sedona two-wheel drive minivan for $2,000. This is going to be the new fishing vessel. Fishing slash traveling vessel. Hopefully we'll be driving to Florida and Texas and um, living out of the van. Should be fun. Ironically, my roommate also has a minivan. <laughs> so, uh, you know, they're very, very practical for people like us that travel around the country working different jobs. Um, it's got space for all of his stuff. Once again, he can sleep in it. So he basically essentially got a minivan for the same reason I did. Less about fishing for him, but you know, here's our storage shed. Ooh. With, of course, all of my fishing stuff. There's the kayak, all the fishing stuff. I like this little shed here. It's nice. Um, there's all my fishing poles. You can see all the fishing junk. So, yeah. Oh, I got this new kayak caddy, so that's going to be nice for hiking the kayak down the trail into different places. So, um, here's all our tackle trays. Eventually, I'll do a full tackle overview. I should do that while things are somewhat organized. Somewhat organized. <laughs> But yeah, I want to go over all my tackle, do a, a tackle tour video, so that'll happen at some point in the future, is all our nets and stuff. Um, I got a lot of fishing poles, but trust me, I wish I had more, but you know, I have what I can afford. Um, here's, here's some tools that were at Walmart, uh, the Picmatics, one of my favorite trail work tools, so figured I'd get my own, and um, we can definitely use it for work around the yard. There's the axe, I'll show you why I bought the axe in a minute. Here's our backyard, which for living in the city, this is actually a very decent sized backyard. I'm very happy with it. We'll get away from the air conditioner. Here's our burn pit. So uh, I'm going to be excited to, um, to be having some fires here right now. We're in a drought and a fire ban, so um, I can't be having fires at the moment. But this thing was completely overgrown. I had to clear it a brush. But here's our cool backyard. There's this giant pine tree in the backyard. I don't exactly know my southern species yet but I mean that tree is absolutely huge which is cool I like big trees and um, yeah a piece of it fell down so that's what we've been using the axe for hacking away at it um, this was a piece that was like driven into the ground over here so it was almost like felling a tree but it was all wrapped up in this tree so it wasn't super dangerous but we're slowly but surely hacking away at it with the axe chopping it into little pieces and um, hopefully can have some fires in our fireplace once um, once things first of all we get some rain and the fire band ends and uh, and hopefully once things cool off right now it's so hot and humid out I don't spend as much time as I'd like to outside it's just too hot but we also have this little ditch in the backyard and as I mentioned we are currently in a pretty significant drought so um, you can see there's water in the ditch now but this is the lowest that this ditch is ever going to get. Once the spring rains come, um, this ditch should have a lot of water flowing through it. And uh, I've been thinking it might be really fun to take the kayak down there. <laughs> I followed it down on Google Maps, and that little ditch eventually does lead to a, uh, a kayak launch on a... On a it, eventually this little ditch turns into a river, and there's a kayak launch down there. So it'd be kind of dangerous because we'd be going through people's backyards where there's dogs and stuff. But uh, I think it'd be a fun adventure to, to take the kayak down a backyard neighborhood ditch. So um, future video plans. And, um, you know, maybe we could even hike down that ditch and see what kind of fish we could catch. Yeah, it's kind of fun having to maintain my own yard for the first time. I guess I I'm, was pretty much maintaining the yard at my parents' house. But um, still, I don't know. It's cool to have a, a backyard of my own. Well, a rented backyard of my own. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed the house tour. So this is the new house, the new life in Mobile, Alabama. Be sure to check out some of the house tours from the previous cool places that I've lived. This is actually kind of really boring. I'm living in a city in a typical neighborhood. In the past, I've gotten to live on the coast in Florida, in Allegheny State Park, in the top of a mountain in the Finger Lakes. So um, this is kind of a lame place to live, but it's my first time, you know, really renting a place for myself and, um, you know, having a real job and making it on my own. So uh, it's exciting. I'm happy, and once again, I'm next to excellent fishing, so I'm going to be figuring out the fishery here in Mobile, Alabama. It should be a lot of fun, and be sure to subscribe uh, if, you're, if you're new here and, um, and want to follow my adventures here in Mobile, so it should be fun.